Hey, this is Paige again. It's um, a Thursday night. It's March 29th. It's about it's 10 after 10. Um, I've just come back from a meetup group, which I belong to. Excuse me. And I've been talking a lot, so my voice is hoarse. Seems like it always is, because I like to talk. Um, I had a real nice time, and... Uh, I was gonna I haven't made a video for about ten days. Um, not a whole lot's gone on, but what has gone on is that um, I'm really uncomfortable at work as a man anymore. Um, it's harder and harder for me um, not to reveal myself um, to my coworkers and. Um, I have, in fact, revealed myself to one new coworker. Um, came up. Um, it's rather complicated, but let's just say I, I did. I showed her a picture of me and a, and a woman, and I said, "And I'm the one on the left." <laughs> and it was like, a, "Oh my God!" Response, but it went well. Um, it wasn't anybody critical. I just it so just so happened that. It was a thing to do, or I thought it was. I'm not sure I was right to do it, um, but I don't think I've hurt myself. I think I can trust her. It's a woman, of course. Um, but it's been very hard, and I've talked to my um, counselor about it. I didn't have a session with her, but I did see her at a transgender conference last weekend and talked to her for about 10 minutes about it. And um, So I'm working on what I'm going to say so that if I do have to blurt it out. Um, at least I'll know what, how I want to say it. I won't be ad-libbing. And I also talked to the managing partner um, earlier this week on Tuesday and told her that she and I should get together for coffee or lunch some weekend um, when we can talk for a bit. And she said that sounded nice, like a good idea or something like that. So um, I'm sure I'll have to bring it up again. Um, but it does, you know, I've started to open the door. And uh, I also came out to um, someone at home from Washington, uh, again a woman uh, who I've known for a long time. Um, uh, she was a friend of my wife and I. And um, it, again, it's just with the people I know and love and trust, the people that I want to tell, you know, just like I wanted to tell my children, this is who I am. You know, if you want me in your life, this is who I am. Um, the need to be to be authentic is getting very strong for me. And, and um, it's, it's interfering, it's interfering. Um, I had a, um, a f friend, a really more of an acquaintance, uh, pass away suddenly last weekend. She led the meetings, the monthly meetings at the Gender Identity Center that I go to on the first Friday of every, um, month. And, um, I had never seen her anywhere else, but at those meetings, um, I didn't really identify that closely with her because um, she wasn't transitioning. Um, but she was very nice, and she she um, had a massive stroke and died last Friday, Saturday. And the services were today, Thursday, and uh, I didn't go. And I didn't go for a couple of reasons. One is that. The most important reason is that the girls at that meeting um, only know me as a woman. Um, very few of my transgendered friends have actually seen me as a man. Um, the ones who go to the meeting at the LGBT Center have. But the ones that go to the meeting at the Gender Identity Center, they've only seen me as a woman, including my good friend Danielle and my other friend Steffi and any number of girls who they are there. Um, and I, I really don't want to see, present them 
with Paige the man. I just, this is who I am. And I, and I don't, I just have this visceral reaction to having to disclose myself, uh, especially to the girls who I'm not emotionally close to. I would do it with Danielle. But with the rest of them, it's just like, no, just, I'm a girl. And the other part of it was is that my the deceased girls, family, um, a lot of them, it's a large family, like nine siblings all together. Um, her name was Marty. And Marty uh, was the oldest, and one of her sisters knew, and the other seven had no idea. And so um, I asked uh, Danielle, who was quite close to her and knew her as a man, Danielle and Marty played golf as men once or twice every week. Uh, so they had this other side of their relationship, which I didn't. And I asked Danielle, um, well, girl's going to go to the service dressed. And she said, no, no, don't. The family doesn't want that. And I sort of felt like, you know, I know Marty only in one way, as a woman. She only knows me as a woman. You know, Paige, the man, does not know. I don't even know her male name. And I could go, but if I went, it would have actually been for people like Danielle, not for Marty's family. And um, it was just confusing, very confusing. And uh, I'm in a confused phase. I think I mentioned that before. Um, anyway, um, that's what didn't happen today. I didn't go to the service. And then um, yesterday I did go to the mines in the western slope of Colorado. It was a, a long day, about a 16-hour day, because I drove up there and back in one day and spent almost eight hours at the mine. Yeah. Yeah. Seven hours at the mine. And uh, I really enjoyed it. I, I did enjoy just being at the mine, and um, you know, and the girl appeared, um, but I'm so used to the girl appearing now um, that it really um, it's not even a distraction anymore. Um, I don't worry as much as I did when the girl started appearing last fall in October of of even worrying about what my body language is because my body language is feminine all the time. And um, it's interesting, you know. Um, so I'm here. It's uh, almost the end of March. I've got April, May, and June uh, left in my self-imposed deadline to talk to the managing partner. I would be surprised if it lasted another month before I had to tell her. Um, my sponsor continues to be a great source of strength to me. Um, I just, uh, she has excellent judgment. So uh, I'm happy. Um, tomorrow night I'm going out to dinner with Danielle. I'm sure we'll talk about the service. And um, Saturday I'm going to go to my meeting and then I'm going to take uh, Jim to a lacrosse game at Denver University. He's never been to one and he went there uh, as an undergraduate. They're very good. And then, um, I think tomorrow night I'm going to be seeing Nikki. She's doing some photography at a drag show, and Sunday I'll go to my meeting. And then I have to start doing things like my taxes, and I also have to go through um, my closets because I have a lot of things that I never wear that I want to take next Friday to the um, Gender Identity Center. We're having a clothing swap, so it's an opportunity for me to get some of my stuff into the hands of girls who might wear it and have less to move. So um, I'm running out of hangers. <laughs> I've been buying a lot of clothes and I need to stop. Anyway, um, if anybody has any comments or things they would like me to talk about, um, I'd be happy to do so if I'm comfortable. Uh, I will keep you informed of my progress with the um, coming out at work. And um, Anyway, 
Everybody take care of themselves and, of course, stay pretty. Okay? Bye-bye. Love you all.